Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a reading for Cancer, Cancerians. This is your reading for September 2021. We're going to take a look at your work and finances as well as your love and romance for September 2021. I'm using two tarot decks today. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux for your work and finances and I'm using the This Might Hurt Tarot for your love and romance. So I've already um, meditated, of course, and shuffled and pulled the cards to save time. And all of my cards are read in the upright position, so let's get started. So Cancer, what's going on, what's going on with your um, work and finances? You have the Queen of Cups. So nurturing or being a caregiver of some sort. So let's see if we can um, take a deeper dive. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Ten of Wands, and finally you have the Ace of Wands. So I'm looking at this because the bottom of the deck is the, again, the Queen of Cups. I'm thinking that you are working hard for your family. You have the Ten of Wands, and then um, the Ten of yeah, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this tells me that you are working very hard to support a family. Some of you are out there working really hard right now to support your family. You're not sure if it's good enough because you have the Nine of Swords. So something is keeping you up at night. Something is stressing you out. Um, you're working so hard and you're so stressed and you need to know that you are doing enough. You have this Queen of Cups, so you need to be nurtured. So the person that needs to be nurtured and taken care of is yourself because you're working so hard. You need, you have the Ace of Wands, so you desire to be invigorated, renewed. Uh, you need to renew your, your passion, you're, you're overworked. You're overworked and you're stressed and you need to somehow reinvigorate yourself and this is probably could be handled simply by uh, just you know taking on this this Queen of Cups energy and nurturing yourself and someone needs to look out for you as well so um, that's what's going on with your work and finances you're working so hard you're stressed out you're trying to support your family you're not sure if um, you're doing good enough um, you might be you know there might be money issues here and it might be hard to support this family. Um, but um, you're doing enough. You're doing enough cancers. Um, hang in there and just take time out. Nurture yourself. Make sure that you get the time that you need. So September is going to be a busy month for you. You're going to be busy working hard for your family. Um, but renew yourself. Renew your energies by um, taking a step back and doing something special for yourself. So that's what's going on with your work and finances, Cancers, for September 2021. All right, Cancers, let's take a look at your love and romance. So the bottom of the deck is um, death. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with death. Is it the true end of something or um, a transition of some sort? So let's see what you have. You have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Chariot. So, okay. So you have the Knight of Wands which there is a situation that you're involved in that is just not stable. You have a highly charged, maybe even sexual uh, relationship going on with someone right now. This person has other options with the Seven of Cups. Um, there's other options going on. You see how, you know, she's just looking all around. So I'm thinking that this Seven of Wands, you know, has eyes for other people in addition to you. Okay, there's secrets, there's stuff about this person that you do not know about. Okay, um, that you need to just use your intuition and go, okay, uh, this in and out energy, other choices. Does this person have other choices? What's going on? Use your intuition. I don't think, I think you already know what's going on. 
So the chariot says that, again, this chariot is another card of choice. Um, you know, you have choices that you need to make. You have choices too. You can embody this energy too and, and go for other choices and realize, you know, is this good for me or not? And you know, make a decision, excuse me, whether if this is good for you or not. And, um, you know, move away from the situation. Defend yourself. Um, this has been a rocky road. You see how she's kind of gone through this water and she's there and still trying to, you know, stand tall, which you can, but you need to kind of like decide whether you're going to move away from the situation because uh, this person is just fast. This person is in and out and just driving right by you there on that bike um, because they have other options. So that's what's going on, Cancer, you know, for the month of September. It might be fun. You might have someone and this might be okay for you. Um, but you are just not this person's final choice. Or maybe this person is you. And you are exploring your options out there. And it doesn't always just have to be, you know, one-sided. So this is just a situation where there might be lots of dating and flirting going on uh, for the month of September. But none of it is really serious. It's all fun. Um, but just, you know, again, be careful. This could be, be careful. Balance out that situation. Don't go too fast. Um, but there are, you know, for some of you who are really interested in this Knight of Wands, secrets so have fun if that's what you want to do be careful in having that fun but for some of you wanting a solid you know uh, uh, relationship with this knight of wands you got the death card no there's nothing that's gonna come of this right now so thank you cancerians and good luck in september thank you